points in this one. First half is in the books. One half to go. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. The guard pair, the talented Young and Murray. Sadiq Bey is out there with John Collins. And it's the monster in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Right there, you love what Young gives you. A great facilitator in transition, and he's also a terrific finisher. Portis against Young. Lopez left side. Just five to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. They've got the five on three advantage. Young with no one around. Misses the three. Milwaukee leading by eight. Allen outside. And a minute played as the second half gets going. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. Okay. Atlanta's shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Back to Young. It's tipped. Pass to Collins. And here's Bay. The second chance effort. Collins wide open. He fires. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Collins has got six. And you love how instant Collins' shot can be. Gets a pass and wastes no time in releasing it. Allen's shot is off. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Young. Softly drops in the floor. Young's got 27. And tonight is why Young is an all-star. He's got incredible scoring ability. Trey can shoulder the load on that end. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Milwaukee making a switch. Holiday's checked in. And the Hawks with possession here. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. On its way from Young for two. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Out of the Kumbo finds Allen. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Middleton inside the three-point line scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. You know, quite frankly, Middleton is the kind of guy that scores from all over the court. I mean, you just have to give him a little room so he can get his shot off, and he's typically knocking it down. Now here's Allen. After the miss from Trey Young, here's Holiday, and it's denied. Murray against Middleton. Baseline jumper. The monster passes to Murray. Lopez against Bay. And that one hits back iron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. Took him no time at all on that one. Allen's got 17 now. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Here's the monster. He's got 21. Pass to Bay. Here's the monster. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. The monster's got 23 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
Bogdanovich. He's checked in for Murray. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Lopez right side. Middleton outside. Allen surveying the D. Lock at six. Knocks down the three ball. Allen's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Milwaukee. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Shots good from Young. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Out of the Kumbo finds Middleton. Allen with it. He's covered by Bogdanovich. To the middle. And Holiday with the basket on the assist by Allen. Holiday's got 15. You know, Holiday is one of those rare guards who's as physical as any other player on the floor. Holiday busting it up inside. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. I agree. I mean, now's when they need a spark the most. The Hawks trail by seven. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And Holiday throws it down. Really amazing. Absolutely astonishing how accomplished Antetokounmpo is on defense. I mean, he's disruptive wherever he is on the floor defensively. Now here's Bay. And that one's good. The monster. The monster's got 27. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Here's Holiday, 17 points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Back to Allen, from deep. Good on the triple. Allen's got nine points in the quarter. He made three triples in the first half, three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. Here's the monster. Back to Young. It's a mark. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below. 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Milwaukee leading by 10. Now the dish to Holiday. Allen outside. In the corner, Middleton with it. It's over Bay. Rebound by the Hawks. The Monsters got 11 rebounds in the game. Collins kicks to Bay. The Monster passes to Collins. Now Young puts up a three. And they recover it. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. At one point, they led by 16. And it's John Collins with the rebound. The Hawks trail by 10. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's the Monster, and they pick up two. The Monster's got 29. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic. At getting to his spots on the floor. Timeout called the Bucks. Get up and get for the Hawks, Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Monster. Hayes comes in for John Collins. And Hunter subbed in for Bay. The Bucks also changing it up. Mamu Kelishvili is checked in, and it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Chris Middleton. Now here's Connaughton. Six points for him. Finds himself wide open and drills it. He's got 19. Well, that assertive, confident attitude. I mean, Holiday knew as the pass was coming his way that he was going to catch it and let it go quickly. Here's Hunter. No points in the game yet for him. 
Here's Young, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one is on Holiday. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. And Young's confidence is it's easy to love. A leader who really takes responsibility for his team, win or lose. Bobby Portis has checked in for under Tacumbo. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Young against Holiday. Good again. He's on Drew tonight. Holiday. Nine for 13 shooting. You know, Drew Holiday has so many great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even keeled. He competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. Hunter. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, how about that one able to maintain control and finish the play yeah we call that playing through the whistle you know he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle he kept his focus his concentration and he found a way to get the shot up and down one shot find the lane find the lane one shot The free throw drops for Hunter. An athletic forward with, with a personal skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. Now here's Porter. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Holiday. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got his sixth rebound on the night. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. There's the triple. Milwaukee with the rebound. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Uh, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? On the pass to Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Yep, that one goes in there. Bogdanovich has got his third basket of the night. Showing off his inside game. Bogdan is an all-around scorer. Porter against Hunter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second-chance opportunities. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. And the first one at the line is good. And what you like about Porter, he can do a little bit of everything for you. Defend it, rebound it, space the floor, and he's unselfish. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. That one misses. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. Eight-point game. Hunter, the pass to Young, taken away by Holiday. 152 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Connington. Offensive rebound. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Young, no good. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Here's Connington. 
Milwaukee, no good that time either. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute there because his shot making is not happening right now. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Back to Holiday. Outside, Porter takes a three. Rebounded by Capella. The Hawks trail by six in the corner. It's Hunter. The three. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got five assists tonight. And a very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. Now here is Holiday. One points in the game. Port is trying to free himself. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. You know, Holiday is deceptively tall and strong and has great point guard skills, and that makes it really hard to defend him. And he's got his first free throw of the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. And you know, that's not the kind of percentage any player wants to see next to his name at the end of the season. And he makes the first. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. John Collins, he's checked in for Atlanta. Bay comes in for DeAndre Hunter. The Bucks also with the sub. Allen's checked in for Pat Connington. Both free throws, good from Drew Holiday. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. And Young kicks to Murray. Passes it to Capella. And he uses the glass on the lane. Capella's got his second bucket tonight. Sheer power there from Capella. Not an easy guy to contain when he's going up with the shot. Young with the steal. At the elbow, Murray over Allen. That's in, and the Milwaukee Heat is cut down to just one on the bucket for Murray. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Holiday inside the line, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. Drew Holiday has been on display for Milwaukee. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Teams locked in a very close contest. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Young. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. And it's Portis in at the center. Now Capella after the miss three from Trey Young. Shot clock at six. And finished off by Collins. Well, you got Murray running the pick and roll. The timing is going to be right on time every time. Here's Yacht. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Murray. Pass to Bay. Kicks it out to Collins. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Out of the Kumbo, finds Holiday. Allen outside. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Holiday up top, defended by Young. Back to Portis. Three-pointer. Doesn't go for him. So the Hawks will take it the other way. And here's Young. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Young's got 13 points in the second half. 
They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And I wouldn't put it past them guys to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. Here's Capella. Yes, and the foul. It goes on Chris Middleton. And, you know, Capella is so strong that you really got to wrap him up if you're going to commit the foul on him. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Hawks? Well, you know, in some circles, this is an unpopular point, but there can be value in taking the mid-range shot. This team is certainly proving that tonight. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. And that one misses. Milwaukee trails by three. Count it and the foul. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Free throw good from Allen. The Hawks have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Holiday against Young. Out to the wing. Here's Bay. The Hawks again can't hit. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Offensive rebound. And the dunk by Lopez. Lopez. The big fella with the big finish. Lopez rocking that rim. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by two. Here's Collins. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Third person. Team second. At the line for Atlanta. Collins! At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Collins. The Monsters checked in for Atlanta. And so Collins nails both of them. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Allen kicks to Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Assisted by. Middleton's got assist number five here tonight. He is so tough to deal with inside. Lopez just too big and too skilled. Here's the monster. The pass to Bay. Collins looking around. Young finds Murray for Middleton. And good! He has it. Murray's got it all tied up now for Atlanta. I think making this a more consistent part of his game, Murray, nice to see him knock it down from there. Here's Bay, and the layup's good off the glass. It's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. And so it's Milwaukee with it after the basket by Atlanta. Pocket six, into the Kumba. Giannis has taken it up a notch here, and he's always one of the more consistent players in the league, night in and night out. He's getting it done tonight. 
Atlanta calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. They now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hi, guys. During the break, I was able to catch the message Atlanta's coach gave to his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's the monster. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's their third straight make off an assist. Third team fan. At the line for Atlanta. At the line for Atlanta. What's up? Well, they're doing really good work at the free throw line this half. I think that bodes well for their chances to close this game out. Kicks to Holiday. Passes to Middleton for Murray. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Rhythm and timing so important in the game of hoops. Middleton using both on that pull-up jumper. Here's the monster. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. For your heart. Shooting one. One shot. Milwaukee trails by four. Giannis kicks to Holiday. Allen inside the three-point line. The Monster with the rebound. The Monster's got 13 rebounds in the game. The shot's good from Bay. You know, such a selfless player. I love how Young stays consistent in how he involves his teammates. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Side Holiday, the monster with the rebound. The monster's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. For Milwaukee, they've gone six of eleven since the start of the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Bucks, and the way Trey Young GA is the focus of this offense, the numbers j just pile up. Yeah, I mean, they run so much through him. His usage rate is off the charts. Led the entire league in total points and total assists in 2022. And that hadn't been done in 49 years. Giannis kicks to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Lopez against Collins. Lopez passes to Middleton. Four on the shot clock for Murray. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Hawks leading by nine. Collins dishes to Murray. Young outside. Let's a floater go, and it's good on the way in. Young's got 38 points. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Now here's Allen. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Outside, Cowan. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Murray against Middleton. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession.
with the fadeaway. That one doesn't go. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailing. Part of Brook Lopez's value is his ability to space the floor, especially as a big guy. Now, here is Young. The rebound by Holiday. Six on the shot clock. There's the lob, and the Kumbo throws down the alley oop slam. Superb initiative from Arthur Takumbo. I mean, that may be something we overlook, but being able to take that initiative allows him to be a real menace when he's rolling to the rim after a pick. Now here's Bay. Young for three. Rebound Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Allen gets to Holland. He's over Bay. They get it again. Here's Young. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. The monster passes to Collins. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Murray for three. Yas grabs the miss. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Outside Holiday. Giannis against Young. Trying to get open his open. That's good. And the apparent lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Kumbo. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. It's a take charge brand of basketball he's been playing tonight. His point total tells you all you need to know about just how good he's been. And, and once he got going, their game plan really became simple. Just get him the ball. Hawks making a switch here. Capella's checked in. Here's Young. Pass to Murray. To end the drought. Milwaukee with a rebound. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Middleton. The kick out to Holiday. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And that's now 25 points for Drew Holiday. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Murray outside. Stolen by Middleton. It counts, and the foul. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. You can really see Middleton now starting to emerge as a leader for this team. Whenever they're looking for an important basket, he provides it. Free throw is good, now leading by one. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Now the pass to Capella. Now here's Bain. Passes it to Young from outside of the arc. Oh, they get it back. And it's put back up and in by Capella. And the Hawks lead by one. So good to see the role players stepping up in big moments. That's a big basket for Clint Capella. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Collins. You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it. That's a, that's a sign of how Anka Kapumpo has matured recently. Anka Kapumpo at the line for one.
That's good from out of the Kumbo. Yeah, terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Young inside, guarded by Holiday. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And we continue to see Young take on more responsibility, welcoming the challenge to go to the line. Two shots. Shoot two. He drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. And he makes both free throws. Nicely done. Without much separating these teams, that's when you have to make good at the line. And to the Kumbo inside. Working on Collins. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Two for the away team. Nice to Kumbo. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. Yeah, this was a smart foul, but Capella could upset the opposition's plan. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Middleton dishes to Antetokounmpo. Count that one. Now it's a five-point Bucks lead. And in addition to his great talent, Antetokounmpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. Ice in his veins. Young excels and step into the plate and delivering in the clutch. Good! Really hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that one, with one of his shots falling. Yeah, that's not a bad way to end the possession, though, and it's the reason this game is coming down to the wire. I mean, his touch from outside and from the field in general has been superb. Here's Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. And relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Here's Young. Count it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Oh, crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contest. And he commits the intentional foul. Ten seconds. Team fifth. Shooting for the away team. Drew Holiday. Taking two shots. This is the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. That 
that's good going one and two from the line and that increases their lead to six Atlanta calls timeout they're down by six there's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth There's 25 seconds left in the game. The Hawks working the ball around. Here's Young. Collins trying to break free. Young, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Holiday at the line for two. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Holiday against Young. For three, buries it from outside. knows he has the ability to drain it from way outside. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. Well, Giannis has to push out the distractions here. Take his time and don't rush his process. Can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus the defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks.
All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.